Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Fusion Generator. We are here once again with this brand new update and I have gone ahead and changed our creation from last episode into something honestly a little bit prettier. Look at this thing that I have made. Once again, look what I made. I have done a thing. It is beautiful. But honestly, I'm finding that fusing things with Aurorus, as much as I love this head pattern that Aurorus has, it's probably one of my, like, favorite decorative things on a Pokemon. As pretty as it is, it's very hard to fit to another Pokemon when you're fusing, when this just kind of gets shoved behind it. But Mischievous kind of makes it work, okay? It does kind of work. Rock Ghost type, I feel like Rock Ice might be a little bit better. Maybe Ice Ghost would probably fit the best though. Um, and with that, I think the best thing for this entire episode is to just click randomize and just click fuse and see what's happened. Wait, did we get a second Mischievous back to back? Even after the randomization, that's kind of nuts. That's actually kind of impressive. Um, Taildrivus though, that's a Weedle Hunter if I've ever seen one. <laughs> it's a normal ghost type though, and that's a type that I would really like to see. I don't know how they do it, but I would like to see a normal ghost type. That would be a very, very interesting type. All right. Uh, let's swap it the other way around and see if that makes it any bad. That just looks like a really angry Taylor. Oh my god. That genuinely looks like it could be a Pokemon. That doesn't look like some kind of hybrid fusion that's gone wrong. That genuinely looks like it could be a Pokemon. If this was in Gen 8, I would not be surprised. I would be surprised because, you know, it looks like a Taylor, but I wouldn't be surprised because this looks like a Pokemon. Either way, random, Brakeson, and Durant. I don't know if I like the fact that I can see the two Pokemon that are going to be fused before I click this button, because sometimes I'm tempted to just click this cross and not fuse it, but let's click the button. Yeah, that's, look, that looks demonic. Okay, that actually looks possessed. I was thinking of it the other way around. Uh, I was thinking of a Durant with fluffy fox ears, so... <laughs> this is the one that I dread. Oh my god, what is happening here? What is happening to its butt? This stupid stick. What on earth? This this looks horrible. This I have arachnophobia. This is triggering it ever so slightly. I don't like when things get too many legs. Okay, this is this is getting a little bit close. For some reason, Durant doesn't trigger it. This? Maybe it's the coloring? I don't know, but that's gonna go away. Uh, mobile and Bertic. Yes. No. 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 Bear Wild, the name, again, the name sounds like something that could be in Pokemon. The typing, I steal, I love. That's a really cool typing. However, that, that looks like an accident. That looks like some horrific accident has taken place and it should go away. <laughs> the other way around, however, we don't talk about that. We don't, we don't talk about that one. That, that, no one saw anything there. We can just move on from that, I think. Um, Blizz, Blizz Zing. Look at how happy this little toxic cloud is to be coughing and dying all of the time. It's so happy. So wait, this is actually the Pokemon of pollution, kind of. A little bit of a stretch. Um, but the Pokemon of pollution and, and misery and sadness and coughing and wheezing, right? It's in the name. And then this happy little Pokemon that goes and cures it. So is it poisonous or not? That's the question. Is this a Pokemon that heals you with like an effective poison? I suppose that's the word for that is medicine and it kind of already does that actually. Medicine is the word I'm thinking of for effective poison, by the way. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Weez yeah, that's, that's, that looks like a rocket going off into takeoff. It's got some clouds for fee. It's shooting up into the atmosphere. This may say poison normal type, but this is a flying type. This thing can fly from the energy cell that it has in its stomach. That's not an egg, okay? That's not an egg. That's an energy cell for Rocket Wheezy. <laughs> Is that believable? 
Have I made a believable story for this Pokemon? I think that's believable. Um, what is happening here? Oh, that's the edge of Blissey's arm. I thought they were spikes. I was like, neither of these Pokemon have spikes, but that's the edge of Blissey's, like, hand. But as we know, that's actually just there to stabilize its uh, rocket propulsion when it goes up into the atmosphere now, because obviously this Pokemon is a rocket in disguise. I love coming up with random stories for these Pokemon. Nido Queen and Mashana. I get the feeling this is gonna look horrible, but okay. Yeah, that's, that's Nightmare Fuel. That is Nightmare Fuel, isn't it? Okay. You know, all I can do is apologize. I'm sorry that I have made you see this. Um, the Mush Queen. <laughs> the Mush Queen. That's a good name. That's... Oh, the name makes that worth seeing. This looks horrifying. It's like Mushana, but bigger. That's the only way I can describe this. This actually looks like something that Mushana could evolve into. Mona Mushana Mush Queen. <laughs> the name. Mmm, okay. The name could use some work. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it could use some work. But this genuinely looks like it could be its evolution. Like, I like what's happened with each of the hands here. Because it's got, like, the little... Tidbits. Tidbits isn't the word. Feet. Feet. Those are the words, you know? Feet. Tidbits. Easy mistake. Okay, everyone gets that confused. That's not just me. But this looks kind of nice. It's got, like, little hooves, almost. Um, it's still got the face of, like, a Tepig, which, you know, I hate, because Tepig, um, yeah, ill. Uh, <laughs> but, this looks good. I'm genu- I genuinely think this looks like a good fusion. The other way around, however... <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's actually great. Oh, that's the angriest little frog I've ever seen. Why? It's the angriest frog. It's... It's that one frog from that video where the frog makes the really, really high-pitched battle cry noise. And for anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about, that's probably for the best. But this is that frog from the battle cry video where it makes that really high-pitched noise. But it's... It's taken up smoking and got a shelter attached to its butt and evolved like a slowbro. Yeah. This this fusion generator makes me say some really weird things, and you know, I, I accept that I'm saying weird things, okay? I'm not saying these things thinking I'm saying normal things. But this again, this whole fusion was kind of beautiful. Now, someone did also say before I forget. Uh, Dugtrio and Hydreigon. And honestly, I get where you're coming from here. They both have a lot of heads. I am a little bit scared about what we could be making here. Uh, how many- I don't know if this is gonna take just one Dugtrio head, and it's gonna be like an evolved form of Dugtrio that, that sort of became a dragon, or if there's gonna be three heads on each of these and it's gonna be Nightmare Fuel. But let's find out! Oh, okay, okay, okay. The Hydreigon onto Dugtrio only took one head. That looks like... Is this how Rayquazas are born? They, like, they pop out from the ground and, like, slowly get their color from going into the ozone layer. They, they pop out of the ground like Diglets. Is that what Diglets are? Do Diglets, like, pop out of the ground and, like, eventually start spewing, like, these little wings? And they just fly off and become Rayquazas once they're grown up? I believe it. I believe it. Diglett evolves into Rayquaza confirmed. Okay, this this has confirmed it. Hydra Trio. The other way around, however, I'm scared. It's, no, no, no. It's so. That's not what I was expecting. I thought. I don't. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't. What is this? What is? What am I looking at? What happened? This had so much promise. I thought this was gonna look so good, and then, and then, and then this, then this. What? Dugtrio. Why? It, 
it didn't even replace the other head, sadly. Like, the with the Dugtrio, it took all three heads. With Hydreigon, it doesn't take all three heads, which is kind of interesting. This, this didn't have the whole powerful effect that I was thinking it might, okay? That... The cry is powerful, the look isn't. Um, let's just make that go away. Sunflora and Talonflame. Oh no. For those that don't know, Sunflora is ugly. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, to be honest, Sunflora's not as bad as Sunkan. Sunkan's ugly. I think Sunkan's just a, a bad seed. Uh, but Talonflame and Sunflora, this could look good. <laughs> No, it couldn't. Nope, that, nope, 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 nope. Fire Grass, I like the typing. Talon Flora is a nice name. This is good. This is good. This isn't. This is bad. This is, this is a thing. Um, it keeps the petals, which I kind of like. It, like, just replaces the face. It, I don't, I don't really know what's happening with the wings as such. It's like it's got three wings. It, it didn't evolve quite right. This this was made in a lab somewhere by someone that was like, if what if we harness the power of sunlight and make it boost fire type moves? Like this Pokemon has solar panel as its or solar power, sorry, not solar panel <laughs> as its ability to boost its um, fire type moves in the sunlight. Solar panel, and you know, it still kind of fits. Um, so yeah, this was definitely made by someone trying to create the ultimate fire type, and it went badly. It went really badly. It even lost its flying typing in the accident, because it can't fly with these three wings. They just sort of collide with each other, and then it falls over, because it can't stand up on these silly bird legs. <laughs> I'm just bullying this Pokemon now. What about the other way around? <laughs> Okay, um... There's only one thing to do with this, isn't there? There's actually only one thing to do. Just... Yep. Yep. And with that, I think that's where we're gonna wrap up for this episode. Because if I, if I look at this any longer, I might be screaming internally. So if you guys have enjoyed this, uh, whatever this was, uh, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, bye!